Би бол болоогүй байна л гэдэг юм чи юу кино юу минийлэр кино угаса болоогүй байна цаад юунд да мөрөөдөлтөө өрөөгөө шүү дээ угаса хүрэхэд бол ерөнхийд болох ах гэж бодсон тэгээд сүйл руу ер нь бадаад үзэхэд ер нь бас одоо л одоо ерөнхийд кино их бол бас ер нь дараас харамсч магадгүй мэлээ ерөнхийд их том амжилтад гаргаж явж байгаагаа бас мэдсэн тэр амжилтуудыг бас гаргах энэ тал бас Юу зарцуулдаг те зүгээр шууд мөрөөдөд шууд хөрхгүй штэ бас ойлгомжтой тэрний төлөө юу зайлаас тэг юу зарцуулдаг тэрийг юу юм бас хөөхтөдөд ойлгох гэж те үнэхээр чи хүс чинь үүсгүй юм уу гэдэг бас ойлгох гэж юм кино хийж байгаа болохоор бас зөв шид юм байна гэдэг юм сүйл сүйл ойлгосон да Наа шарж юм цэх яад гэдэг. Аа наа сэрэн жакхан шарж юм цэх гэдэг. Тэгэж хизээ ийм боломж монголчууд ярих вэ гэдгийг бол зүгээр дивсаны багаас ахши шинжил хөдлөс хөдлөх юм. Монголия makes his present known. чөр сурд наад толгоч тоолж байгаа гэдэг үү тэгээ аа заас хаас монгол улс нэг толгоч өрөөд ирсэн тоолж байгаа. сонирхолтой юу нэг ямар юм гэж л үзэж байсан баг та. яг үзэж тэх үздэг байсан. тэгээ филиппины сахс монголын сахсыг харьцуулж ингэж харахад яг үнэхээр хэд манах бол аяг боломжлолоор оцогдсон байсан. Бид нар бас яг юу би бас заримдаа бодож байгаа зүгээр бид нар яг юу тохиолдоод байгаа юм бэ гэж бас бодох юм байж исэн л дээ. Ягаад тэгвэл бүх ойлголтууд нь ойлгохын зөрүүнд амрих гарч исэн. Миний хайртай дуртай зүйл мэдээ сагсан бөмбөг. Тэгээд энэ улсад ингээ сагсан бөмбөг энэ төр ингэж өндөр хөгдсөн байхад миний яг л байх хэвээр газар төрлөөс л та яг Солонгосын дээдлэгт нэг орж хүслээ тавиг гэж бодоод тэгшүүд Солонгосын дээдлэгийн тэр автонд одоо өөрийнхөө нэрээ шууд өгнөг ота орж ирсэн мэс Чинь нэг байга дахиад нэг жил тавлаад тэгээ нөө доодоо багшийнхаа хилснээр илүү цаашаа зориод ингээд нэг амьдрал салаа явсан бол явах л гэсэн баг. Тэгтээ угаасаа амьдралын зураг гэж үүдэн байлаа. Наашаа ирэх хэвээр байсан юм байна тэгэл ирсэн штэ. Шууд нөгөө нэг өөр улсын иргэн те 50 ас дараад ингээд шууд ингээд амар мундаг тавлаад ингээд 50 ч тухай дээр гарах боломж үү. А мэдээж өөрийнхөө юу ч чадхаа хийгээд Бүний тулд мэрэгчлийн сагсан бөмбөг гэдэг статустай газар тоолж байгаа юм лээ. Мэрэгчлийн сагсан бөмбөг гэдэг статустай болох гэдэг нь өсөж мөрөөд зэрж ирсэн.
ер нь бол надад бол хэцүү л байсан л багтаа хад цолонгосын бах бэлтгэлийн юм амирх гүүдэг бас цохиж моддог тийм амирх өчтэй чанг байсан болохоор ер нь бол дунд дуран зүсэн би яад сахсан бөгөө за хая болё гэсэн бас тийм сэтгэлж өх ер нь дайн тухай бол байсан л та ер нь бол тэгэл манай ээж мэн чи за зүгээр ээ гэл хийгээд үз гэл тэрнээс хаплаад баян хийсээр байгаа л ер нь бол гэл сахсан да үрдүн тал юм гаргасан л та ин захстэй аазын захсэд юм уу энийг одоо маш хурдан гүйцэх тэгэхээр маш олон мэрэгчнүүд бэлдээд маш олон тийм одоо захсан мөнгө холбоо бас маш зүв бодлоготой халсаараа ажиллах хэрэгтэй юм болоод тийм бол зөндөө олон тамирчтай харараасаа хадшид олох болов гэж би бодож байна. Миний бол зорилго бол солонгост бол энэ баг 10 жил тохиолдох миний л зорилго бол удаардал байгаа. Тэгэл хаман гол нь яг зорсон зорилготой дуртай хайртай болохоор тэгэл хэцүү чийсэн давалгаар тийм ээ монгол хүн гадарч агараад тоглоно гадаа тоглоно гэдэг чинь монгол сахчтай бахархал байж байна. Тэгм болохоор бүх сахсан үг өгсөд нэг их өөд ихтэй одоо баясхлан дүүгээ батаа ирэх ихтэй бүгдийг дэмжиж байгаа сайн тоглоосоо. Ер нь бол би энхээ зүг бас энэ байж гэсэн урчиг их хүсдэг. Энхүүлийг одоо фрешмен болоод аюутныхаа багт орж байгаа коллежийнхаа багт орж байгаа тий. Тэгэхэд цаашаа бол маш гоё ирээд үлээж байгаа гэж бол хэлдэг чаа. Yeah, <laughs> bro. The University of Dayton is built on a long history of basketball tradition. We have a history that dates back more than 100 years of basketball. Um, it's a very much a cultural thing in Dayton, Ohio. Dayton basketball is the main thing here. It's really what differentiates uh, the University of Dayton from a lot of other schools.
Дэлхийн сагсан мөнгөний оргилон нь өөрөө Америкийн NBA а энд хүрнэ гэдэг чинь бол хэр багийн сагсан мөнгөг тоол сонирхчтэй юм бол хүсэд хүсэд хүрдгүү зүйл. Тэгэхээр одоо тэрний доотлын NCAA-г нэгдүгээр дивизинд ингээд тоглох болсон бол маш том амжилтал гэж би үздэг. Одоо нөгөө дивизин 1 их сургуулийн scholarship авна гэдэг маань өөрөө хангалттай амжилтыг бүтээж чадаж байгаа. Ер нь бол Монголын сагсан өмгийн түүхэнд 1 in 3% of high school basketball players in the United States would have the opportunity to get a scholarship in Division 1. Very small group of of athletes that are able to play at this level. It's it's a difficult thing to get a college basketball scholarship. It's definitely a privilege. It's definitely a a big time opportunity for a, for a high school athlete to be able to get a Division 1 scholarship because there's not many out there. I am the coach that recruited Mike uh, out of high school when he was at ISA Academy in Cleveland. What's up? Straight from Mongolia, baby. <laughs> when we were recruiting Mike, we actually didn't have a scholarship. If if he's one of those kids that we have to have that because of his talent and how good he was and then you know in the su in December a scholarship opened up which worked out but we wanted Mike no matter what The type of student athlete that our coaches uh, recruit at the University of Dayton, we really have three components that we really look for. You know, the first thing is just we, we obviously look for their ability. Are they good enough to play at this level and impact our team in a positive way? And certainly I think the coaches believe Mike certainly has those skills and those attributes. The other thing that we look for is just a general fit as a person and understand the culture that Coach Grant wants to have. Um, are they a good person on and off the court? Do they carry themselves the right way? Are they a good teammate? From an academic standpoint, be able to handle the expectations of a, of a college campus academically so that you're eligible and that, so that you, continue to, can, you can continue to progress you know, we are a university, we are an academic institution, and you know, the, the young men and women that come to our campuses have to be able to succeed in the classroom uh, and, and manage their academics uh, while being a student athlete. No question, they have to put some time in um, to maintain those grades. If you don't do that, um, you'll be ineligible to play, you know, by the, the NCA standards. So that's not 
just at the University of Dayton, that's everywhere. You have to maintain eligibility academically to be able to continue to play. Story, you know, but especially correlated to these different aspects of our, of, of our current society or we're living as a human being. It's history, as many of you do, but what happened to Martin Luther King Jr.? Here in the States, when you come to a university as a Division I student athlete, you have to take care of the academic side of things. You don't get to just play your sport. You know, I don't think most people understand that they don't just play their sport. They come in there, they're in 15 credit hours of coursework. They're studying late into the evenings. They're working on classes that maybe they're, they don't have a lot of background in. Like Mike is taking a, uh, a philosophy class. And that isn't easy for him because he doesn't have a lot of experience with philosophy. So we're talking about reading not only in the English language, but learning material that's very old that you don't have much background with. So it can be challenging. We want to recruit a great student, a great young man, and a great basketball player. And that doesn't come easy. We have to do a lot of research and we have to be very intentional with the student athletes that we bring into the program. Then after we bring them in here, how do we then continue to enhance them being a really good person, a really good student, and a really good basketball player? We have academic advisors who, and academic tutors who help them along the way with some of their academic responsibilities, with things that they struggle at from an academic standpoint. So, let's see. How are classes going? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Okay, so um, I know one thing we need to do for sure, two things. Mm -hmm. First, um, I was making some notes. We need to get you out of your communication class. Mm -hmm. Actually, drop it. So this office helps with tutoring, uh, time management, study skills, um, organization, and just kind of being a resource for my students, whether it's someone to talk to, a lot of the guys will kind of say I'm like a mom away from home. Mike is doing fantastic. We had a great summer um, where I got to know him as a student and he took a music class this summer that he really enjoyed and that was a music technology class where he actually got to make sounds and make music, kind of edit it together with an app. Um, and he wrote his first college research paper this summer, so which was very good. Student athlete. Per NCAA rules, you have to be in at least 12 credit hours, which is called full time, mm -hmm. okay? Right. So you'll be in 13, yeah. that's fine. Um, so they'll wait to hear that from me, and then they'll approve, right. okay? And so now we'll it gets harder because he's in more classes, and we have basketball starting up full time here very, sh very shortly, you know, in about a month. They'll be very busy. It's like having two full time jobs. You have school and you have your sport, and there's not a lot of time for anything else, but Mike is doing awesome is worth 50 points. Mm -hmm. So we just need to make sure it can go over the other side. We're here in the best room in Dayton, Ohio, our Olsen Performance Center. We have 20 squat racks and various machines and other free weights that we use that all of our varsity sports training, including men's basketball. Stop, chest level, don't go higher. Show me five with just the bar, then let's continue. Okay, eyes, you gotta focus. So if you're shooting a jump shot, your head never moves. I need you to focus something I think we gotta find the wall. Your head cannot you move. Stay active Rack the, the bar, we're still gonna get used to like. Everyone, they're first starting out, they muscle it with their upper body. Remember, you're riding the momentum up the arm. When I'm looking at it, it's not just, do you have an hour, hour 15 gap that you can lift? but do you have enough time before and after to eat? What I find with college students is the ability to manage their time. So as much as I need them ready to go in here or at practice, their level of preparation before and after, like you might have heard me discuss with Mike, of eating before and after is just as important. Let's put on greens and let's work our way up. Like, Caleb Washington, how do I feel? think you're moving? Maybe at how airline, Mike, does his feet look, ladies? I just think when you have periods of no activity. Go again. Uh, don't bring your chest down. Don't bring your bar up. Use your, your leg. Give me a small jump with it, Mike. Baby jump. Go. What is it? What did you do this morning? Have control. Control the weight. 
stop. Shrug, pull up. Don't bring your chest down. Pull the bar up. There's some kids when they when they first walk through the door, I have to like give them a little pat on the butt and get them moving. I don't have I more have to pull the reins back and make sure he's doing everything safely. So he he worked very hard from day one. It was laughing, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Casey. I'll see you at the practice. Get her chat, the banana chat. The day we're going to sit chat, take a chat. Got it, huh? Сахсан бомба үүсээд жарн жил болж байгаа. NBA мэдээд 30 жил болж байгаа. Магадгүй 100 мянган хүн сахсан болсон баг. 100 мянган хүн өнгөрсөн одоо ирээдүй энэ сахсан бомбогчдын хамгийн гол зорилго нь хамгийн гол хүсэлн тэр цэг багхгүй. Тэр цэг рүү бүгд хүсэж байгаа бол тийшээ очих боломж тийм олон хүн цаа яхдаггүй. А тийшээ нэг хүн очсноор хоёр болох дөрв болох боломж нь бий бол таалах юм байна. Тэр зэрэг тэр ирээдүйн тэр хөвгтүүдийн боломж нь төлөө нөгөөл бич төр нөгөө хүч төр ганц өөрийнх нь төлөө биш. Мэдээж хэрэг өөрсдөө хүм маань мөрөөл мөн өмөн тэр араас явах тэр хөвгтүүдийн төлөө бич төр нөгөө хүч төр зэтгэж байгаа. Тэгэхээр нөө хүмүүс тэгж ярьдаг шүү дээ. Шарвагийн хүүхд тэмчин, энэ хүч өндөр хүүхд тэмчин. Аргагүй шүү дээ юм байх нь гээд. Үгүй яг тийм байдгүй л ахгүй. Энгүүлэг шиг нь уруутай хүүхдүүд Америкээр дүүрэн биш шүү дээ. Энгүүлэг нь байрлал тоглолтой хүүхдүүд Америкээр дүүрэн гээд. Баг энэ дэлхийгээр дүүрэн биш шүү дээ тий. Тэдрээс онцгоорч гарч байгаа нэгдэж юм бас айгүй бас хэцүү даваа шүү дээ. Сахсныхаа зал руу явж байна. Одоо бэлтгэлтэй гурав хүчээс. Маа дүү бас нэг хэлсэн байдаг хаа. Одоо Монголын бэлтгэл гадаад юм бэлтгэл нэг нэг ялгаагүй байдаг ч гэсэн дээ а Яг хизээ яаж хийж байгаа? Яг юун дээр анхаарч байгаа шал өөр гээд. Яг хичээгээд байгаа гэвэл адилхан хичээгээд байгаа. А гэхдээ яг яг юу юм дээр хичээх хэвээр байна гэдэг явсаардаг. Одоо work hard биш, work smart гэх юм аа. Гач үү тийм аа. 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 Ама эй, this man, this man say this. Эй. Гэд. Most of the guys, when they come to college, they've been the best player their whole life, wherever they've been. And they get to college and all of a sudden they see that there's other really, really good players around. So I think that's the biggest adjustment is uh, for anyone, is learning how to use your strengths, how to work on your weaknesses, and how to fit in to whatever culture you're part of at the college level. Тавсан мөрөөдөл нөөр айгүй хүнд мөрөөдөл байхгүй. Хин болгоны очоод ах хэмжээний мөрөөдөл, чадаад ах хэмжээний мөрөөдөл биш байхгүй. Онцгой нэгний мөрөөдөл. Тэгэхээр зэрэг онцгой нэгэн байхын тулд онцгой бэлтгэл хийх хэвээр. Онцгой сахлаг боттой байх хэвээр. Тэгжээж л тэр онцгой 44 нь өөрөөс. Зөвөр өөрийнхөө мазраа тэгээ явууд бол тэр онцгой 44 их ямар ч боломж байхгүй. Coach Ricardo Greer, associate head coach here at the University of Dayton men's basketball. 
Hi, my name is James Kane. I'm assistant men's basketball coach here at the University of Dayton. Uh, my name is Darren Hertz, uh, one of the assistant coaches here. My name is Andy Farrell, recruiting coordinator and special assistant to the head coach. All right, team one on one end, team two on the other. Team one on one end, team two on the other. Here we go. Come on, anchor, anchor. And downhill, downhill. At the rim. Hey, go to score. Turn and go to score. Yes, come with the purpose. That handoff, what do I have? If he's trailing me, I'm going to try to turn the corner. All right, if he's trying to deny me, I got to get into his body and take it away. Okay? Go with the purpose. Good. Have confidence. Hard dribble. Hard dribble. I'm trying to go back door. I'm trying to get the low DHO. Okay? Hard dribbles. Here we go. Ball in. What do we got? Keep back, keep attacking. Good. Put pressure on him. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, boy. Good job, boy. Good job, boy. To Caleb, why aren't we throwing it to him? He's not open. He's not open, right? So in order for you to get open, you got to wait for the dribble. Coach Grant is very particular with who he wants at the University of Dayton. Here we go. Ball in. What are we in? What do we got? Stop, 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 stop. I didn't hear one word. I didn't hear anybody communicate anything. My name is Anthony Grant. I'm the head men's basketball coach here at the University of Dayton. Let's say RJ decided to throw it up to Mike. Mike, you should be in the slot, okay? So all programs in the country have one head coach. They have three assistant coaches. Those are the primary coaches, the primary voices of practice. Every coach has a role. Some of them overlap. Team one, step on the floor real quick. Practice, we try to um, split up the teams every, every other day or, or give a different look with uh, guys and playing on certain teams. So we're going to play a game now called Rapid Fire. Yeah, well, I think we've got um, an unbelievable culture right now with the guys in our program. Well, I'm going to throw the ball out. you got a short clock. You guys got to play. We show them where you at. We show them where you're supposed to be, and we show progress. So it's not about being where you're supposed to be right away. It's about showing me that you're getting to where you need to go. So you guys have to understand how to connect the concepts, what comes next. So we'll, we'll have a coach that, that may be uh, his, his role on a, or for a specific, depending on what we're doing that day, a specific coach may have responsibilities for the defense, uh, the guards, whether it's you know, shooting or ball handling or different drills we do. Ball up, ball up. What we got? Here we go, look up, look up. Hop, hop. Attack, attack, attack. Go, 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 go. Stay, stay. Lead it. So why are you standing up there? Hurry up, go. hurry up. Go. Go, Caleb, go, Caleb. Run time. On the other side of the floor, you guys got to talk. Attack, here we go, move, move. All in. Mike, communicate, Mike. Communicate. The relationship with Mike really started, you know, in the summer of 2021. I had a chance to watch him play when he was playing here on a local team. Um, so we've heard about Mike since he was a freshman when he went to high school here his first year. Last summer, so the summer of 2021, was when he was at Xenia Legacy here in Dayton his freshman year. Mentioned to Coach Grant, there's a kid on this team that we definitely need to keep our eye on. He sees the play before the play develops and does an unbelievable job getting the ball to his teammates in a good position to score. He was playing at that team, he was playing on the forward position, but every time he touched the ball, the passes he was making, the, you know, the, the finishing, you know, just his high IQ just made me believe that this kid would be very special, especially um, with the way that we play here at the University of Dayton. I just thought this kid was phenomenal. 
his size, his ability to see plays before they develop, into uh, his vision for passing the basketball, his feel for how to create offensively for himself and his teammates. Those are the things that really stood out to me. So within the NCAA rules, there's a certain time with based off the age and when a student athlete is graduating from high school and you can reach out to them. So on the very first day that we could reach out to Mike, um, I, I shot Mike a message over, over social media, just introducing myself and letting him know I've heard great things about him. You know, he's, he's got the ability to make the people around him better and uh, guys enjoy playing with him. And I felt like the fit for our team with what he brought would be good for him and it would be good for our team as well. The coaches are responsible for the recruiting, um, but as the athletic director in basketball is a, a, a very important sport to us. So as athletic director, I become involved when the coaches ask me to. So the coaches are responsible for evaluating the talent. They get to select who they want on their team. But when we're in the recruiting process, it's important that the families understand that the University of Dayton is bigger than just basketball. And what we offer from an education standpoint, what we offer from a, a human development standpoint, that I'm able to share that and communicate with the family. Дэйтэн ягаа дарсан бай хэвэл тэр нэг заалны нэг хоёр дахар ихлээ хүрч ирээ үйсэ тийч дэйт гой зургаа дараалаа баахан зураг дараалаа гой явж арина үзэгээд тэгээд хамт яваад энэ заалны дэрсэн тэгсэн чинь наа өмсгөлөө өмсгөд их гой санагдсан л да даша шатар буугаад талбайлаа гарсан чинь дээр one of the great atmospheres in all of college basketball. We welcome you to UD Arena. Shadows, Passa, Tripstein, that I was hit. That's a big yak. Tugat <laughs> Ингээ хол бүтгүү тохиолдолд бол ингээ байдаг. Маш их нөгөө завгүй байна. Аа хичээл их орж байна, бэлтгэл их орж байна. Нүрэ ээж би их завгүй байна л гэдэг болсон штэ. Нэг хөөртө тэ дарам тучруулахгүй байхсаа л гэж амир хүсэж байна. Үгүй. Яг хаа энэ бид орол бас ингээ сайн л эцтэй бүгд л одоо ингээ баярл. Гэтэе I was able to get a lot of people 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 to get a lot of Хитэн 3 хувь дундаас зайн 3 гэж зөв гэж үзлээ гэхэд бас энэ зөв хувь байсан бас л бар нэлээн баг хувь бас юм байл уу штэ. Тэгэхээр яг дүн чадчаасаа гэж би бодож байгаа гэхдээ чадахгүй л гэхэд түүгийг бичсэн байгаа штэ чи аль тийм их хэлбэр. Reverse shot for three is good. A lovely pass underneath, and Holmes takes care of the rest. That's a freshman making that little dish. 
how about the big fella, the freshman from Mongolia, taking it strong to the basket. Charajans from Mongolia makes his presence known. Say your first class is at 8 a.m., so you're waking up at 7 or 7.30. You need to grab breakfast, go to class. After that, you might have weights. After weights, you might come in here and see me and do some studying. Then you might go to another class, and by this point, we're at lunchtime time for lunch. You might have to go to the training room for rehab. Um, you might have one more class in the day and then you have time to get to practice. After practice we do more studying. There's very little free time in a day for a student athlete.
Yeah.